an intro to the Dumas USS Crockett patrol gunboat. This is the first page of seven for the Crockett number 1218 uh, building kit. Very detailed. You might look into the planking a little bit further, but it's very detailed. On the last page, you got additional parts required. Uh, I go over this in the next uh, setting here. You have your glue, epoxy, CA glue, and uh, the finishing kit. Uh, Dumas recommends, uh, well, they don't make them no more. Uh, they re recommend go to the hardware store, or buy the stuff online that goes with uh, uh, these other things here. And heads up for electric powered uh, radio control, 2105 deck hardware kit. This is this. And you see some of your deck hardware items here. That's not included with this kit. And 2341 running hardware kit. This is separate, must be bought separately. That includes your screws, your shafts, your rudders, struts, and hardware. And uh, there's their address, phone number, etc. And also, you can buy the stuff at Horizon Hobby. All these items here must be purchased separately for your electric-powered radio control model. These are some of the tools and parts I used. And they talk about the board. The board uh, here has got to be more than 52 inches in length and uh, 8 inches, a little greater than 8 inches wide. I use something I have in the garage. Works well. Set it up exactly what they said. Parchment paper so you don't have items uh, getting stuck to uh, the wood. And I use this uh, when I'm doing planking. You have the number one, number two, and number five exacto knives and various different blades. I have number 11 here, which works great. Uh, you have a very comfortable, like ergonomic uh, hobby cutter. You also have various, uh, you have your razor blade. You got a device to hold that razor blade. And push pens, of course a pencil. Bob Smith epoxy. Oh, this stuff works great. Mix it equally. All the stuff, uh, as you see, bought online. You have uh, your wooden stir, your acid brush, and a cup to mix the epoxy. And uh, zap medium glue works great. And this stuff here is put the planking together. Uh, Super T works great. String, sanding block, little blocks, various pieces of uh, sandpaper, various grades. And you, of course, you can see the distilled water bottle. Have a smaller one here. A Dremel helps. Dust mask, of course. And also have a uh, sacrificial piece of basswood which is when you're putting down the uh, cutting out the items so that you don't uh, ruin your blades. This is a picture of the hull after removing it from the building board, then laying the parchment paper down to catch any epoxy drips. The next photo will be with the hull glued down to the building board using CA glue, sanding block to the right of it, and he used a steel rule to make sure there's no imperfections and use a sanding block to correct that, and the Tamiya putty fits any, correct any imperfections. Once you put the slight bevel on the keel, you can go ahead and uh, check it with your steel rule, make sure there's no imperfections there. And then uh, before you put your planking on, you want to go ahead and fix something like this, a longer piece, sanding block, instead of the shorter one. So you put this, put it on your uh, legs, as they call it, the frames, and very lightly sand it so you remove the squareness of the hull, lightly sanding it.
just like the instructions said, you're going to have to splice two of the planks together. You're going to have to cut these as, as I've shown here. And we're going to go ahead and use our uh, Super T. This is slow stuff. 20, 30 seconds or so, I believe. Just, of course, I got the parchment paper down. Turn it on. Tap it. Fit them together. Fit them together. And while, while I'm fitting them together, I'm moving at the same time so it doesn't uh, glue itself to the parchment paper. And after 30 seconds, uh, it'll be okay. Good to go. This is a picture of the whole cross-sectional view at frame 5. And what I've done is to go ahead and draw in the legs 1 and 2, as you can almost, you can barely make it out and the center line of the hull and the original one they had a line going over here for the shear knuckle which was uh, not the angle that was intersecting these pieces here at that shear knuckle for my model so I calculated it at 19 to 20 degrees, I'm going to leave it at 20 degrees and by looking over here at 1, 2, 3, 4 this frame here, leg, frame leg and probably right there, you're going to calculate from here all the way to the front of the bow, about an eighth of an inch. I'll go ahead and trim that down using that 20 degree angle. Number one, number two, port starboard plank, as you can see, took a gradual cut from uh, the end there all the way up to the bow, about an eighth of an inch. And uh, this is giving me an indicator of putting number three, number four down and cutting it very slightly as you can see number three is attached ready to glue good to go setting up the next plank is a dry fit this is the number four plank making sure everything is in that shear line and we will have to probably trim this area right in here and We'll find that out as soon as we soak it in water, hot water. Okay, we had time to go ahead and soak it and cut it. And I just wanted to go ahead and tell you that on the sheer knuckle area here, is that a good idea to go ahead and put a slight bevel here so that it'll fit nice and tight in here. Now this is just set up, no gluing. And uh, you can see it's a good fit. Test fitting number five plank. Yes, that is a uh, potato chip clip. And test fitting the number six. Looks good. Well, when it comes to plank number nine, you're going to have to put the bevel on this side right over here, on this, this piece here. This is a shorter plank I went ahead and just made up for the film. Um, what's interesting about this, there's no form to it, hasn't been in any water. Actually, it's going to be twisting the other way, and it'll fit right down that bevel, which you just made. The other side of this one doesn't have a bevel, but as you can see, it'll be, once it's uh, trimmed, it'll fit real good. We are at the limit of how much our balsa wood can bend. So what I had to go ahead and do is to go ahead and do a setup and then uh, make a filler piece here. Of course, using the parchment paper, uh, manila folder, a little thicker piece. And then the final piece is our, our uh, part of our planking material. And that'll fit <clears throat> right in there like that. I'll go ahead and use the hot stuff. Had to use the, put the bevel here and here. And of course, on this area here. This, these pieces are for number 10 and 11. Correction, number 11 and 12. I was playing 15. I found out as you start getting closer to the keel, uh, both ends will have to be immersed 
in the hot water. So use your bathtub and uh, it's going to take some forming here. It's, it, it wants to bend so that's why I use these clamps here to go ahead and hold that in there. Before installing plank 1718 I had to make a custom piece and went ahead and made it out of poster board paper. Went ahead and done a cutout as you can see it's sitting right in front of the hull there. And then transferred that over to a piece of balsa and after that went ahead and dry fitted it. Looks good so far.